I'm Ashley and I'm a children's librarian. I'd like to welcome all dads and your children to the library. A lot of people think that the library is a quiet and serious place, but actually it's a fun and inviting place for families. Learning to read starts long before your child is in school. As a dad, you are one of your child's first teachers and you can help them develop language and reading skills. Reading with your baby is an opportunity to bond and share some quality time together. It introduces new words to build their vocabulary, builds their listening skills, and they can learn about new places, people, and experiences, as well as discover patterns, shapes, colors, letters, numbers, and more. As a dad, when you're choosing books to share with your baby, there are some things that you can look for. Choose books that are small and sturdy. If they're small, your baby can hold them and open the pages themselves. And if they're sturdy, they won't get ruined. You can also look for books with rhythm and rhyme, such as this one, Llama Llama Wakey Wake. Another great place to look for rhythm and rhyme are in nursery rhymes. You'd be surprised how many you remember from your childhood. You can also look for simple, clear pictures, bold colors, and few words on each page. This will make it easy for your child to see what's happening. Another type of book that your baby might enjoy include pictures of faces. Babies love to see other babies. Here's an example. As your baby grows and becomes a toddler, there are some extra things that you can look for in books. They might enjoy a little longer of a story, as well it's nice for them to see experiences that they are familiar with, such as going to bed, animals that they have in their household or have seen. These are all things that you can look for in picture books for your toddler. Also again, rhythm and rhyme are still important, but add some repetition as well. Things that you can look for in books for your toddler. Monkey and Me has a very repetitive verse. Monkey and me, monkey and me, monkey and me, we went to see, we went to see some penguins. And it goes on. Feel free to act out some of the animals. Also, you can look for songs that are in books. So the babies on the bus is just another version of the wheels on the bus. There are many books that have maintained their popularity over the years. An example would be Goodnight Moon. It's been popular for many years. Sometimes these books are hidden on our library shelves, but a children's librarian like me would be happy to help you find them. Here are some tips for when you're sharing books with your child. You can point to the pictures and talk about the pictures as the story goes on. You don't even have to read the words on the page. As you're going through the story, you can ask questions about the story or about the pictures. When your child is young, you can pause and provide the answer. As they get older, listen to what your child has to say. You can have your child turn the page, and don't worry if they miss a page. It's okay to move on with the story. When you're reading, you can use different voices for characters. A little voice for a mouse. Or a big growly voice for a bear. You can also use different sounds, like the choo-choo train, choo-choo, or expressions as well. Libraries have books, music CDs, read-along kits, and story times. Reading at home and at the library is a great way to spend quality time with your children.